Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Poll that uh, asked 2,573 people. Uh, was conducted online over the weekend. And they asked people, um, do you give panhandlers money? What percentage of people do you think said yes? I feel like I'm playing card sharks right now. <laughs> um, I, I bet it's probably higher than I think it should be. Uh, I, my original guess is. Oh, you're answering exactly like somebody on card sharks would answer too. Like they they ask them to give the the uh, reasoning the reasoning as to why they're coming up with their number. I think I people it. are. It's going to be higher because I believe people want to think they're better and they're 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 a better person. Right, than and they you're are. asking you're asking somebody. So. I don't know if it makes you a better person to give somebody uh, money. <laughs> well, Bob, um, what percentage? Thirty-seven percent. Ooh, you're close. Um, Better not be thirty-five. I thought thirty-five. I'm going to say it that it is. I don't know. And then they ask the other person that's going up against them. They say, they say, what do you think? Is it going to be thirty-seven percent? I don't know. I think people are a lot more generous in today's day and age. I'm going to go higher. You said thirty-seven. I said thirty-seven. It was thirty-two. So oh. you were right there. You are right there. You're close. You're close. You would have actually went on to play for the cards because I would have said higher than 32. Um, God, I love card sharks. So underrated. So much better than Family Feud. Because you're adding in... Hasn't been a- on in two the, decades. The AC Ducey, the AC Ducey uh, element into uh, Family Feud. Are you That's still all you're watching doing. the game show network? Oh, uh, yeah, but they don't, the they, don't play, they don't play card sharks anymore. Oh. At least if they do, I'm not finding it anywhere. God, I love card sharks. Anyways... Um, yeah, 32%. That means one in three, though, still. Okay, one in three people that you ask, <laughs> if you're a panhandler, will say, yeah, that's good odds. I'm playing those odds all the time. Yeah, no, panhandlers, as we nothing know, do to well. risk. They do well. There's nothing to risk We've on heard that. all the stories. They sit on freeway overpasses, and then they walk down around to a parking lot and get in their BMW and drive away uh with you know all the loot that they got for the day and then there's but there's also people that really need it so there's a guy came up to me in the parking lot at harbor freight a couple years ago he's like hey you got a minute i was like "Mm, yeah sure what's up he's like i just gotta show you a picture like this was his pitch okay this is hilarious see that's i'm like no this guy looks way (laughs) sketchy i'm out of here and i know there's a lot of homeless people because the recycling center's there yeah i want to just see what's going on okay i just want to see what's going on so what's he put what's he put uh, the in, recycling he's, center's he's sticking not there his hand anymore at you? it's not it's oh, not there they anymore. moved it he's sticking his hand out at you um he he is he goes, he goes well, he comes up to me and he says something to me about my car this was back when i had the uh, BMW? convertible so it's been some years and he comes up to me and he says something about the car he's like that's a good looking car i was like oh yeah he's like you want to see a picture of mine and i was like oh god sure go ahead and he's like this is the project I'm trying to finish. He pulls out a, a cell phone and he scrolls. He's scrolling through pictures on his cell phone. He's got this picture of a convertible. I think it was like a Fiat Spider, like an older Fiat Spider or something along those lines. I was like, and my first, my first, you know, I guess Thought? light bulb that went off or morning sign that went off was like, why is this guy got a cell phone if he's down and out? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then he's got a car project? I don't have a car project. This is a bad pitch, dude. Like you're coming at me, so then I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. He's like he's like, So yeah, I'm just trying to gather up enough money to go ahead and finish this project. Could you could you spare anything? I said, No. <laughs> I don't want that. I walked in it. It's like you kidding me? What did he say? Nothing. He said, Okay, thanks. It went on and he, uh, that was the worst pitch for money I'd ever heard. And I, I, I'm trying to feed my kids or and my keep family. In mind, Keep in mind, in like 2005, I had a guy that was on a laptop when I was in Seattle. He was sitting there on a, on a street corner, and it was like questionable whether or not he was homeless. And he's like, hey, man, can you spare some change? And my friend that I was walking with at the time, she looked at him, she goes, is that a laptop? And he's like, yeah, this is 2005, so laptops are still kind of rare, you know. And, and he goes, she goes, I don't even have a laptop. I'm keeping my money for myself. <laughs> Good for her. Just like the guy driving the autonomous car, falling asleep in it, some of these uh, these these you know homeless people with their cell phones and their fancy laptops are ruining it for the others, yeah. for all, all the rest. What is the worst? What is the worst pitch that you've ever gotten to give somebody money? Hashtag worst pitch you've got from a homeless guy. 
Mine is going to the New England Patriots celebration parade. Is it tomorrow? I think Tom Brady said that he thought it was tomorrow last night. Um, and seeing uh, Julian Edelman and kicking him down a couple dollars, and he's like, "Dude, I'm, seriously, I was the Super Bowl MVP. Seriously, I'm I'm not, I'm not homeless." I'm like, "Yeah, right, man. Sure, here you go. Here you go, man. Here's your two dollars. Just don't don't come at me, bro. Don't come at me. What the hell is that beard?" What is that beard that Dude, he's it's got? It's insane. Like it looks like how do you wear that in the side of helmet? It's it looks so uncomfortable. Like mine right now I need to be trim it because it's itching me and driving me nuts. And I was like, I just didn't do it this morning, but I'm I'm regretting it. Julian Edelman, like, you know, when he's clean cut, he's you know, he looks like you know, him and Tom Brady go out of the town, pick up some chicks. Dude bros, you know? Homeless guy signed creativity needs a little work. They need like a homeless guy signed consultant. Unfortunately, that job doesn't pay very well. It doesn't pay very well, right? <laughs> but a lot of you know are saying, "Hey, I need a you know who, you know, I need a beer, I need some weed." Josh says uh, the best one he ever saw was a guy holding a framed window, and underneath it, it said, "Clearly, this guy needs help." See right through it. Clearly, clearly. What do you got? Oh man. Hi. I think the worst pitch is this uh, GoFundMe for, uh, I think it's the Kardashian girl that's trying to be a billionaire. Yeah, let's, just, let's start a GoFundMe to make the rich richer. Yeah, Kylie, the yeah, she's she's a 900 millionaire. So she's she got wants, 900 million. She wants to be the youngest billionaire. So now she's got a GoFundMe account. People are putting money in this. Her, push her up over the edge. What that is of, terrible. I mean, if she doesn't give all that money away to charity... Just awful, man. What are you laughing at? Uh, one of my high school friends. Um, God, this is terrible. So I had this guy come up to me like a couple of years after high school as I was walking out of 7-Eleven. He goes, hey, man, you got some change? And I'm like, Jamico? I went to high school with the guy. And he didn't recognize me. Oh, God, you called him out? Because well, I was like, hey, we were boys in, in high school. I was like, Jamico, how's it going, man? Oh, you were man? close friends. I was like, I was like, ha, ha, funny, Jamico. And he's like, oh, man, sorry for bothering you. And he turned around, and he walked away, and he was, like, very ashamed. One of my buddies from high school writes in, Scott. You and Scott like to have battles over who's shorter. Um, Scott's a little bit shorter. Though. Yeah, see. Uh, one night, he was up in, um, up on the... I also beat him in a wrestling match. Up on the hill, Queen Anne, I like to call it. And he said he was walking around with a fishing pole and a tackle box telling people that he was fishing and his car got stolen. But keep in mind, this is on top of the highest hill in Seattle. Right. So where you're fishing at, I have no clue. Uh, Ballard's not too far from there. <laughs> yeah, if you walk down the hill, but it's still, <laughs> it's still quite a walk. Like, you don't go, you know, like, if you're fishing at Ballard, you don't go walking up Queen Anne Hill looking for your car thinking, hmm, maybe the perpetrators went up there with it. This is a part of Seattle that's very hilly. A lot of big hills, too. Big hills. He recognized uh, Scott when he asked him for the money. And Scott felt bad for him, so he went in the store and bought him some food. Oh, man. I Like, that is the that was the worst feeling when I, he came up to me and asked me for some change. I was like, hey, man, what's going on? Are you kidding around? Because I was like, come on, quit joking with me, you know? And he was like, oh, sorry, man, sorry to bother you. And he walked away. Like, he was on drugs, clearly on drugs or something. Oh, yeah. Terrible. Did you give him some money? No. You just, you just let him walk away? I was like, I was like man. You didn't bring him home and give him a shower and give he him some meal? He walked away because he was ashamed. Like, he hightailed it away from me. I was like, you know what? Come if you did here, the right thing, you would have chased him down and said, hey, dude, wait a second. I don't want to leave. Let know, me help you out. He was embarrassed. Why would I do that? Apparently, he's not embarrassed anymore because he's walking around with a fishing pole and a tackle box. <laughs> Which, <laughs> by the way, I'm pretty sure was stolen if you're on Queen Anne Hill. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Don't miss a moment. Subscribe to the podcast on Google, Apple, YouTube, and Podbean by clicking on Jeff and Jeremy at KZOC.com.